Hello and welcome to Pure Experiences Sunday Questions and Answers. In this meeting, I try to answer your questions related to the path of knowledge. And this meeting is in English only. It is very useful for newcomers who are seeking some guidance and who want to join the path of knowledge. Those who are listening on YouTube can send me their questions in comments or you can join the Pure Experiences Telegram group which is a public group. All services are online and free. All questions are most welcome. Sagar is asking, what do you mean when you say experience is empty but has potential? It simply means that whatever you are perceiving is actually not there. Because there is no substance of it, the experience can be anything. And that is why there is infinite potential in the existence to appear as anything. Simply because... There is no solid substance which is appearing to you. There are no objects, there are no people, there are no bodies, no thoughts, nothing. They are appearing. What can appear? It can appear in infinite possible ways. You can take uh, the example of water. What is the shape of water? And everybody knows that uh, there is no shape. But how many shapes can it take? And everybody has seen that infinite numbers of shapes are possible of water. Put it in any container, it will take the shape of that container. If you throw it on the ground, it will take any number of random shapes. Why is there this infinite possibility in water to take infinite types of shapes? Because there is no real shape. Same way, the existence has no reality which is already present and so there is infinite possibility to appear as anything. If you throw a rock on the ground, it will remain a rock. If you look at any other object which is solid, it will remain that object for a while. Why? Because there is a definite substance. There is a shape already there. So there is no possibility of becoming anything else. This is only an example, metaphor. The same way, since the existence is pure emptiness, is empty, there is a possibility to appear as anything it wants. What is it that is appearing? It is me. Because the real nature of existence is the experiencer. Just like the real nature of drops of water, waves of water, rivers, lakes, sea, water in your glass. They are different forms. But the real nature of water is water, liquid. In the same way, the real nature of the existence is the experiencer. And it is the one that is appearing in many different forms. The forms are really not taken. It does not really take any form. There is a potential only which is manifested for a while and then it goes away. Just like wave on, on the surface of water. The water does not become wave. It simply assumes that form. That because it is all potential, it changes into some other form. That explains the question, that answers this question, why is there change? Because there is nothing really and so it is necessary for anything which appears to disappear. What is the meaning of appearance? Just to complete the answer because the word appearance was not defined before. Appearance simply means that whatever is seen is false. It is not really present. If you look in the mirror, you will see a reflection of your body. You will see reflection of other objects in the mirror. But is there somebody in the mirror? Are there objects in the mirror? Nobody will say that they are there. So we say that these objects and people, they appear in the mirror. This is the meaning of the word appearance. They are not really there. They appear. And as they appear, they disappear also. What is the test of reality? That it never goes away. Suppose you have 100 rupees, note of 100 rupees. You show it to the mirror. Now suddenly you have 200 rupees, isn't it? It is very easy to double your money in one minute. You have 1000 rupees, you can make it 2000 simply by showing it to the mirror. But people will laugh at this childish trick of doubling my money. Because obviously that... 100 rupee appears in the mirror. You cannot buy anything with it. This is now obvious that uh, infinite reflections can appear in the mirror. It can reflect anything at all. There is no limitation and whatever appears in the mirror is false. 
and it totally depends on the shape of the mirror how anything will appear if the mirrors are distorted if the mirrors are curved if the mirrors are faulty you will see a distorted picture why is that because it is simply appearing the reality is as is constant you are the same the objects are the same but when it is reflected in the mirror it can become distorted so how to know whether uh, your perception or your experience is simply an appearance there are signs of it it changes it does not stay it gets distorted whatever you see is simply a distortion of the mind if your senses are not working properly you will see a different image you will hear different sounds or you will not hear some things if there are beliefs in the mind if there are distortions in the mind whatever people say or do or see it appears in a different way this must be the experience of everybody because it is the mind that is responsible for producing the illusion if it is distorted it produces a distorted illusion so you can observe your experience check if there is any solid substance there which is appearing if there is any reality in it which is seen and you can check whether it remains the same or changes continuously changes you will see it like this and you can check whether it gets distorted or not because the real, if it is if something is real it will not get distorted and uh, if you apply the same checks on the experiencer you will see that it is the reality it does not change it does not even appear it is the mirror in which other things are appearing so they are all my form the mirror and the reflection in the mirror are one the reflection is not present separate from the mirror you cannot tear out the reflection from the mirror like i said show the 100 rupee note to, to the mirror you have 200 now try to give that reflected note to the shopkeeper you won't be able to remove it out of the mirror i wish it were possible that will that would have solved many problems but not possible the mirror and its reflection are not to the wave and water are not to the gold and jewelry not to same way whatever appears in the experiencer is the experiencer itself in a, as a appearance as a reflection or we don't use the word reflection because there must be some reality to reflect something but there is nothing like this so we use the word illusion i am appearing as illusion to myself since i am empty that which is appearing is also empty hopefully you will understand but as you progress in the program you will understand it more and as you embody the teaching as you practice the teaching you will be established in the knowledge sagar is saying water analogy was a stone worked yes i understand experience is no quality very good i'll tell you the secret since it is an appearance you can make it anything here uh, the occult part is born some people they think whatever is appearing is real and they are now bound to that ignorance some people know that whatever is appearing is not real they are freed from the ignorance illusion they are free from the illusion some people people know what can appear how to make that thing appear they have conquered the illusion now that goes beyond our path of knowledge actually can i please speak yes go ahead speak very good there is a reason that we do not allow uh, joining this essence of knowledge group before the step 2 because the answers will come the listening should be mostly listening note down what is said then there will be questions yes write down the questions also so after after the step number 2 is complete you can join the essence of knowledge uh, group where we are having weekly meetings or on demand answers are given there and there the questions will be answered so we want to uh, do a little bit of discipline there in a disciplined way because you see you can listen to the first uh, lesson which is probably 5 to 10 minutes long and there will be probably 100 questions there why did he say that i am appearing why did he say that ex- existence is me something like this is told there so obviously and there will be more questions after that but in the coming chapters this solve all the questions 
so there will there is a basic analysis then there is advanced analysis and then there is explanation it goes on like this till the last chapter where there are, there are practices so i think 90% of the questions are solved like this as you go deeper in the program and the remaining ones now the group is opened to clear it and that is the step of verification asking a question and getting an answer is verification so that is done in the step number 3 but <laughs> i started this group i mean i restarted the sunday question and answer i was not hoping that people from the program will join here. but anyway it is always good to ask my recommendation is simply to write down whatever comes any question any doubt that comes write it down somewhere you can even write it in your notes also that that's why the facility is there so that you can write down something think about it if you do not immediately get the answer no problem the whole program is only that verification and your whole life is nothing but verification continuously checking continuously abiding we remain a seeker sometimes i say the seeking ends in the path of knowledge there is no other path in which the seeking ends we know that the seeking ends but we keep doing it and the reason is to avoid falling back into ignorance because the newcomer mind is not so stable they go back in ignorance even after listening even after getting all the answers because that is the tendency of the mind it is an illusion itself it is an impermanent thing it is an experience that is changing so it will fall back it is almost guaranteed so we keep this practice on to come out as soon as you start drowning in the water of the illusion you swim back up come back this is called abiding abidance and this is also taught in the step number 4 of the program and we do it for the whole of our life it is not really seeking it is avoiding the falling back of the mind and after some years this becomes our habit then we remain there instead of falling but it is not compulsory because anyhow this whole structure which which came to know that it is, it is an illusion i am the illusion it says is going to go it will disappear it is impermanent but fortunately that which is reality will not go just to console ourselves we say i am that reality because obviously i am not that i won't like to call myself as that which disappears although i am the whole i am the one which remains i am the one which goes so ultimately the practices are also worthless still we need some reason to remain in knowledge so continue in the program it's step by step it is very logical nothing is there which is without any reason pramjit is asking not asking saying to understand the abide instructions of gyan marg first person must be super intelligent mostly grace of guru field and company of plm i'm grateful that you are my plm we are all grateful that uh, we have this favor of plm why it is so difficult why why does it look like that i need to be super intelligent to grasp actually it is not so difficult it is new it is new i remember when i was little kid riding of bicycle was the most difficult uh, <laughs> thing for me i fell so many times that i got afraid of it very little child speeding bicycle was most terrifying thing in the world but when i started when i learned it now it goes on its own the bicycle started riding itself i got full command of it so anybody will say is it difficult why are you crying for this thing it is new it was never done so it looks difficult so you need a third wheel the support little bit of support is needed initially and that third wheel is the guru he will stop you he will prevent you from falling and he will encourage you he will reduce your fear so yes when you enter the path of knowledge it simply looks like a uh, just pile of words some words which people are throwing here and there <laughs> i am this i am that it is this that is that but keep swimming and you your fear will be gone within few weeks it takes a little bit of time to enter into it after that it is all child's play we have tried to uh, tried to make the entry into path of knowledge easy and the programs are our uh, attempt 
to make this learning curve smoother that is why it is important to go step by step this is the whole uh, you can say philosophy of the programs that we have started otherwise you won't be able to understand much it is exactly like mathematics before you can solve big problems of the mathematics you need to count you need to learn counting you need to learn addition multiplication if you don't go step by step there is no hope and you will be terrified of mathematics if you don't know the basic concepts this happens to many so it happened to me also because as you know the uh, knowledge of non duality is omnipresent already it is everywhere all the philosophies they derive out of this when philosophy of non duality non dualism the rest are subsets of this one so it is everywhere in different forms but we are not able to grasp it we don't understand it and we distort it that is simply because nobody helped us to go step by step in it nobody gave us the lesson those who give us the lessons those who teach how to do it how to know are called plms yes living master is necessary otherwise it is a noodle soup and this is my attempt to untangle the teaching so almost guarantee that if your path is path of knowledge and if you uh, do the path of knowledge program the essence of knowledge program you will grasp it there will be questions that cannot be avoided but there will be answer that much is guaranteed the answers are guaranteed it is it will be never be like this i don't know what this is just read in that book it is never like this we are talking about the essential knowledge here but uh, the knowledge of the non essential which is not the essence that which appears is infinite and we don't worry about that because the knowledge of that appears is also an appearance it is also it is also infinite so it is a play siddhartha singh what is the significance of maha shivratri there is a, a traditional way to remind people what is the good way to live what should be your life goal what should uh, you do in your in your life what is most auspicious what is most important for you in tradition if we have some ways to remind people of all these things and the various festivals specially connected to the great gurus like shiva he is the mahaguru he is the adi guru uh, it is simply an attempt to remind why are you here there there are more guru purnima buddh purnima and so on the great people they set it up otherwise people they forget everything so we make it part of the tradition and culture so this is an opportunity to once again get back on the track remember why are you here so i wish every day they do this but uh, for ordinary person it's not possible the ordinary person is struggling in his life one day out of 365 is enough more than enough for that person we are talking about the worldly person for a seeker it is uh, almost every day is mahashivratri if it is not mahashivratri it is shivratri you can say isn't it every night is the night to remember but there is one which is designated as the greatest night and there is some uh, you can say cosmological significance also alignment of sun and moon and whatever you see these people knew the natural oscillation in the existence and these people knew that at some times there this possibility of progress is more sometimes it is not which must be your own experience isn't it it is like this up and down is the nature of the illusion oscillation vibration so they found out some times in the year and they said okay this is the optimal maxima where we should remind everybody where we should sit together and do our most important task so this is the significance and this is my point of view you see there can be more explanations of why a specific uh, ritual is done at a specific time so for a seeker all days and all nights are significant if you forget one day if you forget one night it is a waste of that day that day is wasted why is seeker like this why are they so mad crazy because they have done everything else already now they're tired of the worldly stuff there is already a detachment there but now there is attachment to the greater reality there is intense desire to progress
This is the quality of a seeker. So these uh, festivals, rituals, they are meant for ordinary people. For a seeker, you should not forget. Otherwise, you are not a seeker. Otherwise, you are becoming seeker, budding seeker. Those who forget what is my goal here, what is my um, destiny, why am I here? If they forget this thing, how can you call them seeker? We can give an example of a captain of a ship. Because this is the modern old days. They had the river and the boat. But now we are modern people. So we have ships. So the ships start sailing from the port and the captain forgets where to go. <laughs> is he the captain? He himself forgot the destination and the ship is sailing. Where will the ship go? So he must get up every day. 24 by 7 he needs to remember where, the, where should he take the ship. Check the GPS, check the coordinates, check the weather. You know, weather means the obstacles and resistances that we get on the way. And the most important uh, job of the captain is course correction. Keep spinning that wheel on the ship so that it stays on track. This is called practice sadhana. Keep it on track. But you should remember where you are going. So the seeker cannot afford to forget, you see. It's not possible for a seeker to forget what is his path, what is his goal, what is, where is, what is the destination, and how to do the course correction, how, where to turn the wheel, there is storm, there is wind, there is, uh, you see, how to tackle all these things, how to handle the situations which throw you out of course, and the guru is GPS. One day we were talking about GPS and this kind of uh, metaphor, somebody told me that the G in GPS is guru actually. Guru positioning system. <laughs> Somebody said this in our satsang. So I liked it a lot. So the Guru shows you the way. Guru is the guide. Without GPS, the ship will be lost. This is almost sure. But if you are an experienced captain, probably you will manage somehow. And the newcomer, they will sink. It's almost 100% guaranteed. So turn on your GPS. Every night is your night. Do not wait for the festivals that are made for ordinary people. When I say ordinary people think I'm insulting them. No, they are not seekers. They are happy in their daily lives. This is, you can say, a grace, blessing uh, that is given to these ordinary people so that some of them can come on the path. See, most of them will celebrate, enjoy it, which is perfectly okay. But one in thousand will ask, like he asked, what is, why do we do this? What is the significance of this? Who is this deity we are worshipping? And then somebody will say, Go and ask that fellow, old fellow, crazy person. He knows what is this. And that uh, that is the Guru. One in thousand will ask. Others, they are happy. <laughs> Sweets and uh, celebrations, dance and music. Shri is asking, what is true devotion? I like this very much. Tell us something about this. It is simply surrender. Surrender in love and uh, gratitude. That is devotion. You are devoted. So now the question comes, what are, what is it to which I surrender? And that is our choice. You are free to surrender to anything which you respect, like and love. So that is my definition of devotion. If you like it very much, you can do it. And unlike the path of knowledge, there is no learning here. I mean, it, either it happens or it does not happen. You cannot ask a person to learn to surrender and love something. Not possible. So it happens automatically. You cannot have a program surrender in 20 days. It's not possible. <laughs> we can have a program on path of knowledge. And that is also possible for some people. For some can, the knowledge also will not happen. I'll just add to the cycles of time. Probably it was said in the past. But uh, there are these natural cycles of time where the opportunity rises for progress. And uh, these times of festivals are such times. But a seeker is mostly independent of these cycles because they have their own cycles. How do we know all these things, you see? <laughs> Again, the gurus tell us. But you can also experiment. Why are there cycles, individual cycles, for a seeker, because of uh, their constitution, their nature, everybody is different a little bit. And because 
of their time of birth there is some although on the path of knowledge we don't give any importance to time of birth or cycle in your life but in astrology or you can say some other paths it is very important your time of birth your date of birth is important if you're not progressing check are you out of sync with the natural cycle of your life and again any only guru will be able to tell or probably a very good astrologer or the seeker can find out you see when do you sit down and draw a chart on a paper this month this year like a graph if you remember probably nobody will remember all these things the events in their lives on the y axis you plot the events of your life which year which month something good happened which year which month something bad happened which season i was uh, brighter what seasons were there i was not so bright where my mood was off <laughs> where i was unhappy try to find your cycle i know it will look like a random thing try to find a pattern there in the randomness if you don't have that kind of guru who can simply look at you and tell you which cycle is better for you so the cycle stabilizes after 30 years in the life of a seeker and you can determine okay these are the best times for me to do something something spiritual and then you will get more success there so now this will sound like some kind of astrology thing but you will need to verify it yourself so it can happen that the shivratri is not your right time it can happen like this that's why we say the seeker is beyond these natural rhythms if you follow them no problems there's no harm some are in exactly in synchronization with these but if you're not you can find your own time cycles then i know there will be one or two who will say no my life is totally random there is nothing like this nothing to worry then that means you have total freedom to do whatever you want any day and those who can find a clear cycle they are also free to do whatever they want any day but experiment like this that when you are on the peak of the cycle what happens when you do something there if you found a pattern now we can use that pattern but if your pattern looks like the share market pattern it's a probably is useless siddharth is saying wheel is thinner on vashivratri and guru purnima yes yes even in 24 hours there are cycles find what suits you that is my message that is the essence of uh, cycles Shri is saying, I am not worthy of path of knowledge at least, right? It is not a big problem <laughs> because the path of knowledge is a big disappointment. Nothing is gained here. So we are all worthy of gaining nothing. That is a big achievement. Siddharth is saying, seeking is independent, although natural elements aid. Yes, yes. You try to achieve this independence. Yes. when i say find out the natural rhythm for your life i am not saying that become bound to it you need to overcome it you need to transcend it surpass it. but yes for a new comer it, it will be a great help to achieve their goals we used to do all these things in the ancient time now we do and now everybody forgot i think i also don't know remember anything that the, the student was initiated at a particular day of the month or time it was very specific and they had a routine a daily routine they had monthly and weekly routines so they were trained to ride the cycles so initially yes it is required sometimes yes who is speaking hmm very good question totally depends on why is their mental insecurity so my suggestion is there is no such rule that it will go after knowing and there is no such rule that you won't be able to know anything if you are mentally secure these are not rules so my suggestion is to simply try try to achieve whatever you are trying to achieve even if there is a feeling of insecurity and see what happens they it will become little bit difficult but then we need to start at some some point and uh, hopefully it will disappear because the knowledge uh, has a purifying effect so hopefully it will disappear if it does not then you can consult the guru under which you are practicing there will be some there can be some something can be done usually all these insecurities and whatever mental issues body issues 
they disappear with time it is not going to stay forever so do not delay the important that which is important should not be delayed because there is some kind of obstacle there start it he start with insecurity no problem at all like uh, we were talking about share market if you want to invest yes there is a chance that you will be in loss there is a chance that the money will be lost there is a insecurity there but if you want to do it then you should do it check what happens slowly you will know how to avoid the loss same way start anyway these thing they disappear after a while why do i say this that to start anyway because um, the other option is not so good that let me wait till i become perfect in every sense only then i'll start seeking or i'll start on the path or i'll meet the guru if all the situations become perfect now i am ready this option is not very practical everybody will agree because you will never be ready if this is your criteria of being ready you will never be ready there will be always something or the other today it is this kind of insecurity tomorrow there will be that kind of problem uh, next year there will be something else financial problem family problem relation problem the life is a series of uh, challenges they never go away so can you wait for uh, hello yes tell me can i ask sure yeah as can we can we realize that we are actually the atma or brahman whatever they call it call it is there a method to realize it? yes and uh, we can realize it and uh, the method is called path of knowledge gyan mark so if there is a desire desire in you to know you will achieve it i am asking the uh, method yes the name of the method is path of knowledge uh, there are three stages in this method first is listening like yeah yeah first is listening second is contemplating third is abiding shravan manan nididhyasan this is the method the person who teaches this method will be your guru so if you want to try this you can join the essence of knowledge program i'll give you the link you can try this method have you, hmm? have you, have you realized it? yes i realized it actually so you can directly talk with why unnecessary go from one to another you are you have you yourself have said it that you have, you have realized it and why do that directly yes that is a very good point i have told it directly do you want to listen to it whatever i have told directly yes yes i'll give you the link so this is the link where this method is given directly without any uh, restrictions without any condition the only thing is have... you will need to go step by step to learn something we need to go step by step isn't it so this program is simply the step by step method of realizing that you are brahman right I have one related to science can i ask yes yes science is also a part of knowledge yes so i want to know what happened before the big bang can we resolve this question by self inquiry yes the word before means time time means there has to be something which is changing which is running which is happening so some kind of change happened you can say if you want to know what is before there has to be some time there and to measure that time there has to be some change so it is very easy that something changed and uh, the universe happened although it is a theory this is not the reality the reality is beyond science the science deals with theories because nobody has seen the that this thing happen that the change happen you can say sudden change happen i uh, do not think of it as an explosion or something that is happening in space no so uh, this is a theory it should not be confused with the truth and there are so many theories like this there are so many hmm. so let it put aside that it is a theory or so if i remove all this thing if i want to know directly what it is then whatever we are to be seeing ourselves we seeing our surrounding our surrounding so in my front uh, there is a table there is a chair so basically i am seeing the universe i am seeing the objective part of the universe so there has to be something which has came before it so if we apply this method then there has to be some particular thing which has come from nothing so how can we understand this particular thing if you remove the big bang big bang part 
then this particular question can also be asked by observing the universe directly. So if you, if you want to answer this question by by seeing ourselves and seeing the things around ourselves, then you can answer this question in the mundane mundane worlds. Because you are saying Big Bang is a theory, then I want to know the answer of this question through objective perce perception. Because I'm per perceiving things. So can you move in this way? Yes, yes. When you are uh, saying that uh, there is always something before an event, that means there is always time. So there will be infinite time, infinite things. But uh, that is not satisfactory, isn't it? We want to know the start and we want to, we assume then that there must be nothing in the beginning. So how come everything came? So this is another assumption that there was must be nothing in the beginning because nobody has seen this nothing. And if somebody has seen the nothing, that means it is not nothing. It is visible and there is somebody who is seeing it. So this assumption is incorrect that something started from nothing. That is incorrect. No, no. Then uh, hmm, you are not saying it, but you want to know the beginning. Isn't it? I want, I don't want assumptions. If you have answer of it directly, you can, so I can check it, then you can answer. Otherwise, you will say that's the possibility, this is, this is the possibility, then we will never get the answer. Of sure. So, you will never achieve this uh, knowledge of the beginning. Why? Because there is no beginning. Why there is no beginning? There is no time. This question assumes the reality of time. The time is real and things are happening in time. But our direct experience is right now, right here. There is no time. How can you say? How can you say there is? There was no time. It is a concept. You can check it right now. Is there time? Is there past? Observing it, change in the. No, is there past? The moment. Is there past and is there future? Past and future? No, no. There is no past. There is no future. There is only present time right now. Yeah, that is the truth. So all questions regarding past are simply assumptions. Nothing is actually starting. But past cannot be realized. The moment I am in this present uh, moment, the present moment is going to become the past. Yes, it becomes memory, not past. Past is not real. So all questions regarding past are simply assumptions. The knowledge is to drop yes. this assumption. That is the knowledge. So you are basically say, saying history has never happened. History. It, is an, it happened as an illusion, you can say. There is still an illusion of the history. It is a memory, isn't it? What is history? Memory. The history also so happens I, I, in present. I am going to now question the present because when you say something is, is, it, is in present, what do you mean? When I look at the thing, the light from the upper, above bulb just splash into the object and then light came into my eye and after some few seconds I realized that there is the object. In this process, there is always the past so I can... I, can't know that whether I am in present moment or not. So in this way, if you see this, then everything is we perceived is past. Yes. How can you say that, that there's always present moment? No. The present moment does not mean that it is happening slice of time. Present moment is not concerned about time. It is concerned about presence. Is there presence? Are you present? Simple. Presence of, presence of what? You. Are you present? You, you mean what? The that which is observing everything. Observing is the body. The body which I am, which I, I have, which I have given the example is the past. Is the past. So where is the question of observer? Where, where is the difference? The assumption is that body is observing. That means there is body no self is knowledge. Itself. There is no observer apart from the body. Okay. That observation is the present. It does not matter because right now you don't have self realization, so it won't. You won't understand. But no, no, let us. Know. Uh, try to understand that there is observation and this observing, observing is the present. Observation. Observation. observation is basically your neurons in the brain cells are, are creating the thoughts. Then that travels in the neurons, that, that process is actually take, happened in time. So this process should be in the past. So how can you say that observation is in the present? Okay, that which is happening uh, in the neurons and that which is being observed, it is all happening in present. See it like this, isn't it? The changes are being observation perceived. Observation takes time. Observation takes time. And when you observe something, it is actually happened. It is actually past. It's not that you have experienced it and you are in the present. The moment you experience it, it is past. So how can you say that? The moment, something called present? The moment of experiencing is not past. The, it is not happening in the moment of time. Don't, don't claim, don't state, uh, don't uh, claim your statements. Describe it. Can you see right now? Can you observe right now? I 
observing? Yes. Can you observe something? I am saying, yes, I can you see the process of observing right now? Yes. That is present. But that takes, that also takes time. Huh? No problem. The taking of time is ob- also observed. So where is the present? The observing, current observing. But observing <laughs> is the, all the neurons, all the biological processes. Yes, it is. It is the present only, which is which is seen as taking time. That which is seeing it all happening in time is the moment, present moment. It is not a slice of time. It is not something which is separate uh, kind of uh, time, or it is not different from past. The past is also right now. The whole process is presence only. There is an observation, then there is a thought that this observation is taking time, then there is a thought that I'll observe something else. All this is presence only. So how can, how can I check this? This is the ultimate truth. How can I assure of it? Your own what experience. You check your own experience. Is it na- not like this right now? So you are basically saying experience is the truth? No, no, no. Verify, how? verify it. Not ex- experience is not the truth. Verify what is happening. How can, how can I verify? Intelligence. It is only observing what is In- going on. Intellect. If you are saying intelligent is, intellect is verifying, intellect is verifying what? Itself? No. It, intellect is verifying the observation. So, the See, the, uh, the, assum- the assumption is everything is happening in time. Now use your intellect to check is it true or not and you will see that no. That assumption was not true. Try it. When you say it's not time, I have described the process that's called, this goes on our biology, it, the neuron and all that. See, uh, once you say there is no past, then there is no point of saying that uh, something is going on in past. Correct? Past is simply memory, which is happening right now. The memory is happening right now. What has happened is you read it somewhere that it is like this. You assumed it is true and now there are questions. How can it be true? So never assume whatever you have read or people, whatever they are saying, never assume it true. They are theories and it is very useful theory that the perception is happening like this. Yes, but uh, so, all you, know, you will know only through your direct observation, direct experience. What, what, what will I know? Your thing will be also, also theory for me. Obviously, when I say it, it is simply pointing. The truth is your own conclusion. So that is why I gave you the program link so that you can go step by step. Learn this art of uh, knowing. The knowing is also an art. The path of knowledge is the method to know. It is very good that uh, you have these questions, these curiosities, these doubts. Now I am offering a solution and uh, it is your your will. I mean it is your, uh, you are free to choose choice. If you want to learn this method, do you want to learn the method of getting the knowledge directly without depending on somebody else? But before getting the knowledge, I want to I want to assure myself that there is some valuable thing that is the person is going to tell me. So tell me. Not covered it, go into the how tea. will you know the uh, that the tea is sweet? How will you know that tea is sweet if you don't drink it? But I have said it, man. I have said it that the observing process not in the present. So you have no, not, no. you have not tell me that the thing. Um, I told you, see, you will need to know through your own observation and through your own uh, intellectual deduction, logical deduction. I can tell you for one hour why it is like this, but uh, that will not become your knowledge. That will be another opinion that you heard, isn't it? Ultimately, a seeker must learn the art of knowing by himself. And I am offering you a solution. Now you need to, if you desire to learn it, you learn it. And you are saying, I need to, I need to check it whether you are telling, uh, you are giving me a good method or not. So you can check it by applying that method. Apply that method, learn it, apply it. If it fails, it was wrong method. By talking, you will learn nothing. Like by questioning, you will never know the sugar is sweet or not. It has to be your direct experience. Go through the program. What is that to experience? Experience the program, essence of knowledge. That is the method. How can I move forward? Uh, the way to move forward is find a path, find a guru, learn the Don't method. Which question? How observing is in the present? It has to be known by your own experience. 
and with your own logic because i i told you but uh, you said how can i believe you isn't it that is the learn yourself because i can tell you but the thing is you won't believe it you will say it is your opinion now so it is best to have your own opinion research i whatever i have said till now right so there is no question of believing something i have just described the fact that are present in the scientific domains i have not asked anyone or say anyone to believe me so why was saying that you have to believe me no i am saying do not believe me learn by yourself myself then what's the points of your in this pc i actually offer a solution i don't discuss anything you ask the question i try to answer you ask me a method i give you the method you ask me explanation of time one minute let me finish you ask me the explanation of time i give you the explanation of time i am not discussing anything nor i want to teach you anything nor am i claiming any truth i am saying you have questions you want to learn i am ready to help would you like to join you are not ready to join it looks like would you like to learn i will learn it after i have been with you see discussion is going like this that whatever i say it is not believed isn't it so what will you learn the discussion can happen like this how can i progress what is the way and and the knowledge is not gained by discussion correct knowledge will come by your own effort not by my telling you and how will you check whether what i am telling is right or wrong again apply the method how will you check whether the method works or not only after applying the method what do you want to discuss tell me because we have more questions here so anyone ask that question i will i will talk well tell me what is your wish no no i am here to learn something i am not here to debate with anyone that i am right you are wrong. i am See, simply here to learn you can debate also but that will not simply waste of time you will learn nothing by debating you have seen the uh, example just now your mind goes on asking questions why he is saying like this is he right or not he is trying to fool me or what he is blind believer superstitious person or not? see this discussion becomes like this ultimately so what do we do we take a shortcut we take a method simple method which is called the path of knowledge and we find our own answer L- let me tell you one thing that uh, you may find that time is real and there is no observer it is possible you will find that and that becomes your truth then that is true truth has to be decided by the person himself not by somebody else you don't need to believe me because i believe nobody isn't it the path of knowledge means end of believing and knowing the truth by yourself so ha ah, if you want to learn if you want to proceed i'll help you but uh, the discussion will not give you anything at all i i'll join it ha ah. i will join it can i ask other questions yes yes <laughs> this satsang is only for questions you have asked you have tell me the you tell me your opinions about it that's a wonderful thing so i have to ask another question which is what what's what what's are what are the changes that happened in your life knowing or observing the thing which you are saying no changes will happen no changes happen so what's the point of it the point is to know our goal on the path of knowledge is to gain knowledge not to change anything see the if there is a desire to change your life then you should take that kind of path where the life goal is to change something in life if your desire is to take knowledge you take path of knowledge very easy if you want to go to mumbai you take the train to mumbai not to delhi do you what is your motive behind knowing curiosity by nature human beings want to know after your life is settled after the money food family everything is done what do you want to do so if you curiosity is the thing then that can be that can be solved by any another method so what's the point of point of going into this realization or whatever that is said no point see it totally depends on goal if your goal is to realize what you are if your goal is to know what i am then you take this path if your goal is to know some other thing by some other method you take something else you are free to choose so i my goal was to know the essence of what i am i chose it i found it it is very simple it takes few minutes so how it help your life no the life is not helped anyway so what's the what's the point of it knowing what i am and the life will continue as it is if there is a need to change and do some change in your life you do it so basically it is useless completely useless completely useless from the point of view of survival once the survival is done 
one what once whatever you want to change in your life has already happened by other means and if there is a curiosity to learn you take the path of knowledge do not come on path of knowledge to change your life it is completely useless it is like going to mumbai and taking the train to delhi do you want to change something in your life is there anything you want to change it is like mathematics yeah it is like mathematics you see it is done for the pleasure of it not so practical say, yeah so tell me you say you have just realized yourself for the curiosity thing as no nothing this is pure knowledge it has no practical value you will not become you will not become rich you will not become happy nothing will happen for that there are worldly methods not spiritual methods if you want to change something in your life do something in the world in your life not in spirituality so our program says in the beginning that you will get nothing here do not come in uh, hopes of benefiting it is pure knowledge so i'll proceed to other questions and uh, i'll leave it to you to decide you are free to choose if you see no utility of this don't do this it's a waste of time siddharth is saying we are perceiving a change change gives us illusion of time yes so he also realized uh, kraisen is saying who is observing this moment i don't know whether you are commenting or asking but you already know the answer if you don't know you can ask me again preeti is saying everything is passing like a mo- everything is passing like a movie the bulb light uh, you are observing is only present everything else is moving flowing becoming memory only you are present which is observing the observer very good <laughs> she also knows and hopefully you did not simply believe it from listening to somebody hopefully you found out yourself Grayson is saying the past is just psychological. Yes, isn't it? Everything is simply mind. Everything is mind. There is no harm in uh, proposing theories of how this thing is happening, how the events are happening. And time is another scientific way of explaining what is happening. But uh, to assume that uh, the theory is the reality, that is the problem. But you see, normal life will go on very nicely without knowledge. without knowing that the time is illusion you can live a perfectly good life and such people need not join any path do not waste your time because time is illusion and wasting is the time is double illusion madhuri is saying neurons who is saying who is talking ha ah, tell me hmm, i can't hear you can you speak loudly in the mic uh, are you saying that why i am not angry Yeah, yeah. I am asking why don't you get angry on that person who was uh, asking the logical question and going round and round again and again the same. No, he will. You are asking about time. Yes, yes. He will not learn anything if I become angry. <laughs> My job is to help people. Most of the people will get angry. Ha! My job is to help people to walk on the path. And he came here. You see, that is a grace. moment of grace that somehow he felt that this person can teach me something but obviously the resistance to learn is so much and the uh, sticking to the old beliefs is preventing that person from pro- progressing forward so that is not a matter of uh, irritation it is a matter of you can say patience it is my everyday experience that uh, 99% of people are not ready to get the knowledge probably he did not come uh, probably he came here to say that whatever you are doing or whatever you are saying is completely wrong but we never claim that i am saying something which is true we do not say like this we always say that find your own truth those who are coming to me with a misunderstanding my job is to correct that misunderstanding my job is not to give you any kind of knowledge and many people know on those who have already completed the path those who have already achieved the knowledge that there is no such thing as knowledge there is no knowledge in the end so <laughs> there is no point in the arguments actually i told him i don't know whether he is present or not probably gone i am present brother okay i told you that i came here to get knowledge the truth is very strange i never got any knowledge i did not get any knowledge but i lost ignorance i lost many things so 
then why do I make the effort to teach all these people who when there is no knowledge actually in the end? So why you why you have said it? It is just now you are saying that it has cleared my days and that. That is not really useful, isn't it? Even if I know that there is no time, I need to get up at time. I need to do my job at at a time. We need to arrange this satsang at a time. Completely useless. So the real question is, why would anybody want this? Like you are saying, why should I waste my time here? And that is why people call us crazy. Because even if it is not practical, we still want to know. Even if it will not give me anything in the end, it will actually dissolve all the questions. End of questions. You can say that is the use. But a worldly person will never say that that is useful. So a seeker has a different kind of uh, thinking, a different kind of desire. Uh, we call it spiritual it desire. Yes, it will make you free from uh, ignorance. It is a spiritual use. The spiritual seeking has a spiritual use, no worldly use. It is not useful for the body, mind or society. The seeker must have this kind of understanding that I will not get anything here. But I, I may lose many things. The loss is guaranteed. The losses of ignorance, of uh, unimportant things like anger, competition, need to be right all the time, need to prove myself right, need to find something which is useful. So all these but things are I, dropped. Where am I going to find the links you are telling? I, I sent you the link, you click on it, you will reach the program online and all these things will be repeated. All these things will be again repeated there. Don't worry. <laughs> I have seen that no, not many people are ready for path of knowledge because they want something from it. This is our ego. No, Humans are like this. We want some benefit from it. But the seeker is the one who wants to lose everything. It is like a balloon. If you tie down the balloon with a rock, the balloon is not going to fly. So the balloon says, I want to get rid of the rock. I want to be free. So a seeker has exactly opposite uh, desire to be free. To lose, to let go. I don't want this. I don't want that. So they will come here to find the truth, usually. And that is impossible. They will come here to get the tremendous amount of knowledge. And they get nothing. But what do we say? We do not say like this. Otherwise it, it will discourage people. So we say, yes, you will be free. You will be happy. You will. Your life will change for better. Some gurus do that. Some gurus do that. No, no, you can ask any number of questions. That is my job. Is observer different from the body? Yes. Can you explain it? Yes, it is explained in the program. See, I can explain it every time somebody comes here and asks. But that is not so efficient, isn't it? So I recorded it no, for I'm once. It is recorded for everybody. You can go and listen. And if there are any questions, there is a special satsang for the uh, participants of the program. There you can ask. The point is, without listening, there is no benefit in asking. First you listen, then contemplate, then ask. This is the method. Listening, contemplating, abiding, clearing your doubts. Now it is a seeker's choice to take the, take up that method or not. I want to point my statement, last statement, that the person Tarun is saying that observer is different from the body. So my point is, the observing process in itself is in the body. Yes. So how can the observer is other than the body? I'm, I'm not going to ask ask you to reply this, I'm just uh, stating my points. No, no, I'll, I'll reply, but the reply has to be methodic. It has to be step by step. So I'll give you an example, like the wave is an arising in the water. But we will never say that the water is wave. So everything arises in the existence. But whatever arises in the existence is not the existence. Just like the waves arise in the water, but they are, we do not call the water as wave. The water is water. Wave is a modification of water. So now I gave you the example. I gave you the answer. Now it is your job to verify it. Because if, if I say it is true, it is, that's not logical, isn't it? It is true because I said it, isn't it? That is not logical. Something does not become true because somebody said it. So how to find whether my statement is true or not? Know by yourself. How to know by yourself? Apply the method. Where is the method? In the program. I have read so many things, the Upanishads and all the things which all our things have said. But nothing has content. So what should I do? Don't read it. See, these things were written by masters who already knew. 
everything. For example, you ask a little child to read a scientific paper on neuroscience. Let us say that is your favorite subject. No, no. He will not understand anything, to, isn't it? I, I, want, I want to expand my question. I have read it and grasped it, but I, I do not able to understand it. The thing is, I, I understand the words, what they are saying, but they are not making sense. So what should I do? And that is not called grasping. That is simply reading. You understand the meanings of the word, but there is no experience behind the words. So I, I give you an example. So I have read the sentence like, water is fire. So I am understanding the word, but it doesn't make sense any. <laughs> Yes, you will never how get... Water, how can water be fire? Yes. It's like this statement. Do about. You will never understand by reading. Only a guru will teach you. Otherwise, there was, there was no uh, necessity of any guru. The guru understands already, hopefully. <laughs> and he will explain why the fire is water, water is fire or stone is fire. What is written in the scripture has to be elaborated. That is the job of the guru. And what is the job of seeker? To check their own experience. Is it right according to my experience? And that's why Guru is needed. Otherwise, we would have given you a copy of Upanishad. Everybody, I would have started the business of giving free copies of Upanishads to everybody. There was no need of program. Do you do you know any contemporary Gurus like that, that they were present? Like Ramasi, Ram, any Is there anyone like in present? Yes, there are many. If you go on gyanmark.guru website, there is a uh, section of gurus, list of gurus. They are currently here. The greatness is not in the person, you see. And the greatness in, is in what they know. So many people are there who are very knowledgeable, although they are not famous as Raman Maharshi or anybody else, but uh, hundreds of people are there. So there is also one, sure. one more way to verify how things are true. Everybody will say the same thing. So what's your take on Ram, uh, Ram Krishna Missions? Ram Krishna Missions uh, forward and say Guru or whatever. Swami Sarupriya, is it, is it true Guru? Will, will he become a true Guru if I say it? See, uh, those who are benefiting from his teaching, for them he is a useful Guru. Very useful. Those who, are, who do not understand what he is saying, completely useless. Same way, these people in satsang, they understand what I am saying. So, I am useful for them. What's the take on Acharya? Just foolish or they realize, they realize person? It totally depends on how much useful that person is for you. It can be a good person for me. It's possible that I'll say that, oh, he is totally realized, knowledgeable person. For somebody else, he will be foolish. So, it is subjective evaluation, isn't it? There is no hard and fast rule like this that if somebody has knowledge everybody will think he is he has knowledge no that needs to be decided by the person who is evaluating your evaluation is the most important not somebody else's try to evaluate using okay. your own knowledge if you ask somebody else tell me whether this person has knowledge or not that means you are depending on that person to know and he can be right he can be wrong why you why you are why do I have stopped replying me anymore? Because what's because you have put your final point and that's the case that is going to be in your live discussion or live link. Then how how will I move forward if that's the point? No, we can have this discussion every day if you want. Uh, the point is to make you progress. Endless discussion will not make you progress. Learning will make you progress. No, no, you have. I did not stop replying. I am proposing you that proceed like this. Would you like to proceed? Then you can have endless discussions. <laughs> we, I would like to proceed, but huh? the thing which you are saying is the, is, is the same on the links you have said. So what's the point of joining my link? If you are not able to answer my question, then what am, what am I going to do with that links? Would you like to find out what happens if you join the program? Would you like to find out by your own experience? Or again, you want me to answer this? Which is your option? Tell me. If it will be different, then I will join it. If it, if it, it will be same, then there's, there's no point in it. Yes, it is different. There is more clarity there. So why you are, if, if it is different, then why you are not saying it? I am saying it. It is recorded all. It is in my voice only. You want to, re you want If you so want me to repeat the whole program here, it's not practical, isn't it? Is it practical that uh, no, no. for many hours I talk in the satsang? Answer my last. Uh, you just <laughs> you just answer the uh, observing part, and that's sufficient for me. I don't want any other answers. Yes, it is your choice. If you want, you do it. If you don't want, don't do it.
very simple so i have just asked the why observing process is in the present i have just asked the simple question and you are not you have not explained me you have said uh, why you are not believing in me and this and that no 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 that was my last question uh, what my answer is everybody needs to see it for themselves you don't need to believe me and how to see it so, there is a method where is the method i am ready to teach you would you like to learn this is my answer this is my explanation so if you are if you are giving selfless service if you are giving selfless service then why don't give it right now why wait for the join because that there, there will be no discussion in this i am going i am only going to consume it and here we are discussing it each other so we can question point by point yes yes we can discuss it every day would you like to discuss it every day i would like to yes But sure we'll do it we'll do it not in public not in public you see this public satsang is uh, just for chit chat if you want to proceed on the path of knowledge what, what's the problem it will we have time constraint here isn't it there are so many questions but there is another group where you can discuss it continuously if you want this is selfless service yes so i will never ask anybody to not discuss it but if it is done systematically it will be beneficial for you how to do it systematically that is what i am proposing i am offering selfless service would you like to take it would you like my service i am ready to serve whole day we can talk whole day we can discuss would you like to do it systematically or would you like simply talking you are not answering the simple question then what i am going to do with the systematic methods i said uh, my answer is very simple learn how to know yourself i am not i am not avoiding the answer this is my answer choose tell me your decision would you like to learn you have not found anything can you repeat i have not found the thing that observer is different from the body there is a method to find it isn't it i am not avoiding the answer i am giving you solution there is a method would you like to find yourself or would you like to believe me which is your option would you like to blindly believe my statement yes very good start Don't worry I'll not leave you I'll not <laughs> I'll not stop discussions with you Can you give me glimpses of the course Yes it Just is there, there are eight steps in the program First step is simply registration where I ask a filtering questions you know filter out people Second step is listening where there are 20 videos which give you this method and which take you step by step analysis how to do the analysis Then there is a verification part which is what you are calling discussion isn't it where you clear your doubts that whatever you said this is not right that is not right this is totally wrong this is the discussion part verification then there is a practice which is optional there is purification which is optional there are few optional steps and the program is over now you want a guarantee that this program will be useful for you but there is no guarantee you will need to try it see if it is useful like we buy a product we see whether the product is useful or not if it is not we throw away we buy something else this is called the process of seeking process of seeking is it paid no totally free selfless like you said you see it is not useful so how so can I, we charge money I, for it <laughs> it is completely useless no, so I, how can I, we ask charge i just want i just want a glimpse of it how it's start not a description about what are content hmm it is a video a video the medium is video slides so can you can you explain some minutes of the video like 5 minutes or two yes which point would you like me to explain where where the discussion start just starting the observation so we call this means of knowledge the way to get knowledge is by direct experience and use of uh, our intellect logic logical ability there are more ways of uh, knowing like books and gurus but they usually fail like this is your direct experience so we employ the direct experience and we analyze it through the logic and how to do it that is all told in the program so this is the glimpse what are the glimpse in it you you two to five minutes you have described the next 15 minutes that are going to be in the program what yes five minutes i'm asking that so i'll give you another glimpse first we talk about the path of knowledge in the program what is it what is known what is not known what is unknown what is unknowable then we start questioning our experience what is existence what is experiencer what is experience what is true what is false go and check it just just explain me first only one thing whatever you want to explain experience existence whatever it is we like to explain observer experience what it is okay existence is all that is 
everything in that exist is defined as existence the world the mind the thoughts the emotions objects people galaxies universe if you combine everything it is called existence like this we define everything you want more so whatever you have described it i can understand it by myself then what's the point of joining no what point then what is it see if you understand it by yourself it's very good everybody can understand it by themselves hmm everybody can understand not me that is right so so why you are promoting your course if i am not promoting so everybody can learn by them. if somebody says please tell me this i simply tell them this there is no promotion here i am not telling anything which you don't already know so what's the point of it i'm saying to solve your questions to answer your questions but you have not answer my question what is your question how observer is different from the body there is a method to know it that method is called path of knowledge this is my answer sir is like your answer is like what's what's the food that uh, fish eat in the pond so you are answering it that is the beautiful pond okay what answer do you want do you want to go in the pond and look at the fish yes i want to look at it in the eyes of the fish so yes what 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 he or she is eating sure you can go and look at it i'll help you would you like to take my help there is that is the point isn't it yes to help people is the point of the program got it understood there is no other point i am not promoting anything so would you further go on what's after exit it is in the program there has to be some logic my in your asking i have said it in my own voice in the program no what's the problem here it is you are live in uh, in front of me is not live person uh, better than the past recording yes would you like me to do it live for you yes yes yeah, that's what i am i am okay so we'll arrange one more meeting is it okay yes join the program every day will i'll discuss live with you are you happy i hope other people are not getting bored <laughs> because there are many questions here so anyway i leave it the choice is yours you will get all the answers skipping my question and uh, moving to another person no i answered you so what's the point of your question if you have if you have to just skip the question i just answer you that i'll discuss everything with you live would you like to meet me personally i am asking it why you are ignoring it ignoring me right now no no i'm not ignoring it tell me what do you want to know see don't ask me to repeat the oh, whole program okay. here that is not practical you are trying to test the guru in a wrong way i see you say you should test the guru by listening to the guru do not do not challenge the guru to repeat the program whole program it is not possible you see it's not practical see i you ask me glimpse i gave you the glimpse i gave you the overview of program you ask me tell me one thing from one definition i gave you now you are asking me go tell me another thing tell me is it childish is it not childish is it logical you and you are saying i am ignoring you but i am inviting you you can discuss with me uh, for uh, any no. number of times your but your definitions are very simple. existence is whatever we are seeing perceiving there, there are more complex no. more complicated definitions also but would you like to do it systematically or would you like it randomly like please tell me anything from your program is this going to help you is this going I to make you progress or is it simply you are trying to challenge that let me see where his, his limit is where he breaks down no, and tells me and no, no. finally first i'll know no. he knows nothing <laughs> what's the point of uh, i i debating with you i have more other to do why i'm going to challenge you or to you wrong what's the point in it i'm going to waste my time if i'm here to uh, if i if i'm here to put someone below me no problem if you are here it is very good now it is your choice there is no point in repeating the program that is my humble request do it it is your choice you can leave the program any time you see if you find that i am not discussing i am avoiding or i don't know anything leave the program like i said the no, usefulness you have, is i am i am okay with it you have given me a... very good <laughs> but you have said it that you have to know it by yourself and that's the point where i will stop yes that is true you will need to know it by yourself thank you for telling you are welcome thank you for telling me yeah you are welcome i knew everything by myself i did not believe anybody so uh, with uh, your humble permission i'll take other questions uh, madhuri saying neurons uh, uh, take time to 
send impulses. Neurons don't have capacity to observe. If it was so, a dead body also must observe. There is no time for a dead one. I see, it's kind of uh, far out there what you have said. We cannot conclude anything about a dead person. It needs to be a living person. I do not conclude anything which you cannot experience. Preeti is saying, the neurons which are sending messages are because of the five senses you perceive majorly. What you perceive is supposed to be observed by the observer. I, I, again, I, I agree with you. Somebody has sent a link to the video, but uh, no, people are not happy with video. I came to know today. Preeti is saying, body takes time to digest food too because this body is living in time in Maya. The whole body is experiencing time to its essence. The only job has to listen and observe to progress and gain experience step by step. Exactly. Exactly. Shraddha is saying, I know this person and he is here to test. So, unfortunately, I failed in test. <laughs> See, the person who knows more than me will be able to test me. And if he knows more than me, there is no point in contacting me. He already know more than me. Grayson is saying, you are in the present already. Our psychological drama distorts our perceptions, ignorance. That is called ignorance. Yeah. When the, the perception in itself is not bad, it is not um, faulty. It is a pure perception. It is a pure experience. Our ignorance distorts it. Shraddha is saying, no interest in self-knowledge and just wants to stick to words and talk nonsense around the world. <laughs> no, no, he is a very good person. He agreed to do my program. But I do not... I will definitely, I will definitely join it. No, no, look, you can test me whole of your life. I have no objection. I, I'll always fail. If this is the... No, you have tried your best. I tried my best, yes, but failed. So, if the... Uh, seeker simply wants to test then the result is always fail because the seeker already knows the the person who is all testing somebody already knows more than the person who is under the test so the person who, who is being to... tested will fail isn't it what am i going to test you? yes there is nothing to test isn't it what's the what, what's the point of testing you i other stuff to do sure we are most welcome there is no point in testing do whatever you want I, I came here to learn, not to test or defame anything or any person. I am not saying. These are the comments I am re reading. There are, the com there are comments in the chat if you see. People are thinking that you came here to simply debate or test me. But it is very good that you clarified that you are not here to do that. And I will say other people, please do not assume about him anything. He is a newcomer. So that's, that's their conditioning, na? Right? They have a conditioned mind that if something, if some person has asking the value question, he's arguing with another conditioning. That is their conditioning, yes. They are wrong. They, all these people are wrong, whatever they are saying. I am happy to be tested because somebody, somebody needs to tell me I am also wrong, isn't it? So I fully agree with you. The testing is necessary. Only if the guru passes the test, you should join the guru. You need not call that person guru also. Just see what they are saying. Simple. Do not uh, worry whether that person is guru or not. Or he is famous or big name or not. Or he has read any scriptures or not. Okay, Manvendra has another. <laughs> Please do not discourage that person. He, he came here to learn something. It is our duty to help him. Madhuri is asking how true love brings transformation at physical level. Just opposite to it can spoil also. Although all physical needs are being fulfilled at physical level, you mean at the level of body. See, healthy mind means healthy body. We all know these things that if there are mental issues, the body also becomes sick. And unconditional love, by true love, hopefully you mean unconditional love because there is no other love. Everything that is conditional will be called selfishness, not love. So if you love somebody unconditionally, it has a good effect on the mental state of that person. And that is reflected in the health of the body. That is my understanding. So, if it done too much, then yes, the person becomes dependent on somebody and that is uh, not good. So, hopefully, that is what you are asking. The mental states matter. It has uh, uh, some importance. Astrologer is saying, but Osho said person starts happy 
laughing all the time after enlightenment years <laughs> after knowing how stupid i was what will you do laugh i am also i also keep laughing at myself how stupid i was this was a question of my friend your friend is right all we can do is laugh at our ignorance if you become serious then just like i said there is no use of enlightenment whatever it is osho got enlightenment who knows what it is but i know it is simply a joke it is a matter of laughing grani saying why so much importance is given to purnima amavasya shivaratri and other night just now we discussed this thing that uh, the great people they found uh, some advantage in some specific times cycles of time and these uh, times are considered auspicious for a seeker because we get a little bit of help from mother nature but just like i said probably you may not get because this seeker has become little bit independent of natural cycles so find your own natural cycle do you feel good in purnima do you feel good in namavasya where what what time of day and what time of year are you at your most efficient most intelligent most happy most productive if there is a cycle like this try to find that cycle there will be daily cycles there will be monthly cycles yearly cycles seasonal if you don't find any pattern it's not a big problem there is no issue there if you find a pattern you can utilize that pattern for success all these dates they are important only for people who have a little bit of knowledge and who have understood it who have seen it with their own eyes that yes at this time of day and year whatever i do is fruitful there is there are more chances of success for a seeker it is seeking for a seeker it is his or her practice so try your practice at a different time try your practices at different times see where you get the uh, most benefit so rajiv is saying there is no harm if someone is trying to take a test or asking naturally what a seeker should do is to observe guru how and what he is responding look for clues in what your guru is saying testing is important you see it is important but most important is your uh, goal in your life are you born here to test all the gurus that is a useless target those who are born here to learn they should test the guru check am i going to learn here as something is it going to make me progress then join that person if the test fails do not waste time do not join that person do not conclude anything about somebody else who oh, everybody says this guru is not good well everybody is not our concern you need to decide yourself the rule in spirituality is a student cannot test the teacher it is not possible and if the student tested the teacher and failed the teacher failed that simply means one thing the student is not going to progress there find somebody else and if all the gurus fail that means only one thing that the spiritual path is not for that person they, they are not born to do that that is not their uh, life goal so find your life goal that is more important the gurus spirituality all these belief systems theories they are not important what do you want to do in your life what do you want to become in your life that is most important then there will be all kinds of people in this world there will be all kinds of superstitious and uh, spiritual and magical mumbo jumbo everything is there so discard everything and proceed to your own goal test yourself whether i am progressing to my goal or not so even before the student tests the guru the guru has already tested the student <laughs> shun is saying he is promoting his youtube channel here well that is against the rule yes who is saying uh, saurabh uh, this is a question now uh, part of which uh, was it to step to the uh, lesson a click on notify reviewer so it is ready for the reader to be read actually you are not in, in the version 2 you are in the version 1 and version 1 is now discontinued okay hmm But, so what do i do now now there is version 3 so join the version 3 so now there is version uh, so, yeah join the version 3 and uh, uh, your notes 
if if you you have written any notes in the version one, try to uh, simply copy paste them in version three. But uh, there are slight differences, so you will need to edit whatever there is. So version three is much better. Hmm. I go to version three. I get redirected to version two. Okay, okay, okay. So that is that must be uh, okay, okay. So what I'll do, I'll remove your account from version one, so that tomorrow you try it. Tomorrow you try, you will uh, your account will be removed, and uh, you will be able to register for version three tomorrow. Should what? Take a of yes, you should take uh, backup, backup of your of yeah. Right. Take backup of your notes. Okay. Hmm. Okay. okay. He is promoting his YouTube. No problem because he promised to learn, so we can allow that. Otherwise, we don't allow these things because and this group is specially for the path of knowledge seekers, not for general public. Can you guys sing? Either you open your intelligence to grasp what is said, or keep looping your words and ask him. <laughs> See, I was also like this. I didn't listen to my guru. He had to beat me. Pandurang is saying doesn't seem to have open mind. Yes, that is very necessary. Uh, incapability to, to learn and listen will cause the student to fail. The quality of a student is patiently listen, observe, see, find the truth, and if it is not according to his uh, um, evaluation, leave silently. Simply leave is waste of time. Open mind does not mean to simply accept whatever others are saying. The meaning of open mind is ability to listen and evaluate and judge. So yes, it it looks like that uh, the amount of beliefs some people have are so many that they don't even want to listen. Do this? No, I I won't do this. First, tell me this. Okay, I told you this. No, no, no. Tell me something else now. Okay, I told something else. No, no. I want to know the first thing. Again, you did not tell me. So this is a sign that uh, inability to learn, inability to listen patiently, evaluate. So a person will always fail. You see, evaluate the teachings. That should be done as a personal matter. To know the truth is a personal affair. It does not depend on who is telling the truth. It is my own evaluation and uh, test the knowledge, not the person. open your mind let the new information come in it is simply information it is not knowledge and evaluate that information evaluate that which is pointed at do not evaluate the one who is pointing but a newcomer will not know all these things i was also like this i need a great guru to teach me with all the other gurus they don't know anything so find a great guru now now the gurus are so great in india that they won't let you inside their ashram they charge a lot lakhs of rupees so finally i found somebody finally this much maturity happened that i need to evaluate it myself it does not matter who said it it does not matter who where it is written ultimately what is true for me will be decided by me so this is a sign of maturity which is not found in new people so what can we do we can simply be patient now initially the guru listens we cannot force somebody else to listen to the guru the guru is forced to listen to the student okay tell me what do you want and if i can help that person i surely help that person if the person is not even ready to be helped i don't want your help okay then what can i do then <laughs> everybody should learn you see you you all were like this when you came <laughs> to the program you all were in complete disbelief you all were bodies reading books won't boost your intellect creation is saying the reading reading books is useful only when you know what is written there so again it is like a loop i need to know what is written in the book to understand the book to enjoy the book and uh, the book is going to tell me how to know so it is a loop so who brings you out of this loop guru guru shows you what you are capable of not the book book comes later the book is simply a more elaborate version of knowledge that's all it and not all books and some books are totally wrong sitte singh is demeaning gurus like raman maharshi see uh, the guru are anyway useless and what is the view of an ordinary person regarding guru 
he the ordinary person is going to see guru as a body mind he does not see what they are teaching because obviously it's not possible without joining the guru it is not possible to know what they are teaching so they see the guru also as another person and yes guru is an ordinary person there is nothing special in that so calling an ordinary person an ordinary person is okay fine guru is simply an ordinary person is nothing special in the guru where is the speciality what he is pointing at that is more important not the guru so i'm skipping a lot of comments here because we are already running out out of time amrish is saying he said to guru ji you are saying that believe in me i don't know whether guru ji said that yes it is simply too many beliefs now probably it is not the fault of that person that because most of the people in our society they are forcing their beliefs on each other so as soon as a person encounters somebody else who is trying to teach what are they going to perceive that this fellow is also forcing their beliefs on me i don't believe you it's perfectly okay path of knowledge is end of believing there is a lot of difference between believing something and knowing for yourself so path of knowledge encourages the student to know for themselves not to believe anybody so i do not believe anybody actually <laughs> not even books not even gurus the job of the guru is to remove the beliefs not to encourage believing because he's saying even if you just watch his youtube videos the truth will dawn on you like an earthquake don't doubt the teacher doubt your own see even joining the program even watching the guru will not guarantee any kind of knowledge this is the bitter truth only one out of 100 will grasp it so even if you test the guru the guru passes with flying colors there is no guarantee that you will understand what he's saying there is no guarantee and there are some people don't they don't find any guru they they find somebody who knows a little bit they understand everything how is that possible i am trying to find a question there are so many comments or can we uh, postpone the questions for next meeting so i think uh, <laughs> i think there are too many comments for me to read everything and uh, hopefully there are no questions if there is any question you can uh, ask me in the next meeting we'll end today's meeting and hopefully everybody benefited hopefully sometimes we need to give you a negative example also because you must be tired of all the great spiritual talk so here is something which is more entertaining so we'll end today's satsang here thank you everybody for joining uh, today's meeting i'll see you next sunday